everyone, it's Emily from The Pinning Mama. If you are on YouTube, join me on the blog. For the entire post, it is www.thepinningmama.com. Um, last week we learned all about uh, overcut. This week we're going to learn all about the image effect panel. Image effect is altering or changing the images you have imported or filled with a gradient or pattern color. Um, and changing what the image looks like, the color of the image most, most likely. Um, there is a few features of the image effect panel. And the few features are, so the image effect first we'll start over here is, is over here. It's this circle that's half filled in. And the, the features of that panel are in this tab one is the gray shade. The gray shade will change the amount of gray that you wanna put into your color. The next one is the hue, and the hue will completely change the color from, let's see, I'll show you on this one. The hue will completely change the color. The next one is the brightness, contrast, and saturation. You can change the brightness of your color, the contrast of your color, um, the saturation, how much color is in there. The next one is the gamma. The gamma controls how dark or light your image is. You can make your dots lighter or darker and completely gone. Inversion will completely change the color of your image to the opposite of what the color is on the color wheel. The next one is a sepia tone. This will give your color a sepia tone, which is kind of an old rose kind of tone to it. The next one is tint. Tint, you can change the red, the green, or the blue in your color to be more red, take out the red, put more green, and so forth. The last one is a shadow, and you can put a type of shadow around your image. You can make the shadow bigger and make the shadow smaller. So let's get started. Uh, I opened three different hearts from Silhouette Design Store and I fill them with different colors. This is a gradient fill, pattern fill, and a rainbow fill. So the first heart I'm going to do is add some gray to it. So if you see, when I move this slider, I add more gray or less gray to my color. The second one is the gamma. I'm gonna change how much of my, of the polka dots you can see. You can make it lighter, so they're barely there. Um, and I'm also going to do the sepia tone and add a rose gold hue to it. You see you can do more of a tone, less of a tone, maybe a little bit and give it a rosy color. The last one, oops, it's already there because I'm going to do a shadow. There's it without the shadow. The shadow is simply drawing a shadow making your box or your circle, whatever it is that you have, right here is my heart, appear that it has a shadow on it. You can increase the size of the shadow. You can offset the shadow more. You can put it down like that. However you want your shadow to look. Um, and you can play around with that feature. Um, the image effect panel is really fun to play around with. One thing I want you guys to remember is images filled using just the fill color, which would be anything in this first fill category, will not work in the image effect panel. So make sure that if you're going to use this panel, you use colors in the gr gradient or colors from the pattern fill or an image that you've pulled off of your computer, where it, whether it be a picture or anything like that. So, and that's all I have for you in this image effect panel. 
Um, tune in next week. It's our last lesson, and I'm going to go all over software additions in Silhouette Studio. Thanks, guys.